Hey everybody, I'm out here again in Happy Park. I was here last night. One thing I've been finding is um, signals in other people's holes. I know these aren't my holes because this is an area that I've never detected. Like just now, um, it's got a dime, it's a 1966. It was in the hole. I put my uh, leshy in, plug just came right up and it was in the side of the hole. So whoever is out here detecting, Obviously, it doesn't have a pinpointer. Thank you for doing making this job easier for me. Hey everybody, it is Wednesday, April 22nd, 627 in the evening. Um, I got to hijack the other car today. Uh, 2007 Toyota FJ Cruiser and uh, just dropped my wife off at the gym with my son doing his swimming practice and guess what there's a park around the corner so do a quick probably about a 45 minute hunt and see what kind of trouble I can get into all right I just dug the weirdest thing ever how many people have dug a straight razor before Look at that thing. It came out this end first, extended. Also, I just had the coolest coin spill ever. Let me get those two car parts out of there. The rest of the it's all in my hand. What's that for a coin spill? It's two dimes, two quarters, and a bunch of pennies. I had another one, it was a quarter and a nickel, but that's a pretty good one. All right, on to the next. All right, uh, just finished my hunt. Um, it's because it's time to pick up my wife. And, uh, nah, I found some cool stuff. Um, well, you've seen it already. Well, not really. Well, yeah, you've seen it. It's in the video just before this. Straight razor? How about that coin spill? Um, yeah, I just lucked out today. I definitely made over a dollar and uh, found something cool. So I call that a successful hunt. So uh, I'll see you at the roundup. I'm going to clean everything up, make it look pretty. Except for the coin spill. That's all going to go in a bag. And uh, i got to enter that in my club meet for um, multiple finds. It's a pretty good coin spill, i got to admit. Yeah. All right. I'll catch you at the roundup. All right, everybody, here's my quick roundup. Um, these coins were all found separately. The quarter, penny, 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 nickel. This was a coin spill, two quarters, three pennies, two dimes. And this is the street razor that I dug. It's a Mariana 310 stainless steel. That's kind of creepy. So, then, uh, that's sort of junk. I was trying to collect all the pieces of this toy car. I felt it would be a cool challenge. Looks like it was a Mitsubishi. Like, uh, bottle caps, a couple evil ones, bicycle spoke, piece of tubing, nail, can slaw. Yeah, that's it. Y'all have a great day. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. Hey everybody, um, I'm in a place up in the hills. There's a lake. Um, here's what it looks like outside. It's kind of a campground. Um, I'm gonna go detect by the lake. Uh, a few friends of ours, they invited us up here for the day. Uh, we'll probably leave when it's dark, but I'll spend about an hour down by the lake and see what I find. I do have my, um, sand scoop and my shovel and of course the usual stuff the bag and whatnot so but we'll get down there if I can figure out how to get out of this place 
It's a, it's pretty up here. I'll pull up the uh, other side of the camera. You guys can see it. Yeah, this is uh, the campground area. Let's see, uh, oh yeah, we have one of those. We have a strict five mile an hour speed limit law here. It's gonna take a while to get down there. Yeah, you can see the crack in my windshield. That's been repaired, by the way. You're not supposed to be able to see it. <laughs> yeah. This is the Sierra Nevada foothills, California. It's a place called Thousand Trails. There's a few of these around the country. I forgot the name of this one, but it has a little lake and people go fishing there and whatnot. So we'll see what we can find. Alrighty, I'll get back to you. All right, so I figured out how to get out of there. There isn't a one-way area, you just go. <clears throat> Speed bumps. So. We'll just creep down at our five miles an hour until we get down to the lake. Ah. Now I've detected here before with my old whites, the blue box, and found a lot of bottle caps. So hopefully the dais will do a little bit better. We'll see. Alrighty, I'll catch you guys at the first good find. Okay, everybody, here's my roundup from yesterday's detection at the lake. Um, I didn't get to film much, mainly because I just wanted to get as much digging as I could done. But we'll do something that I haven't done in a long time. Look at all of that. Now, I detected here about two years ago with my old whites and mainly found a bunch of bottle caps. You can count those. That's a lot of bottle caps. And all the pull tabs, and a tent stake, and some nails, some bobby pins, and the typical fishing weights and whatever this little aluminum thing is. But I didn't do this good uh, with my whites, which you'll see here in a second. Look at that. Uh, we got dollar fifty and quarters, thirty cents in dimes, and. 12 cents in pennies. Um, I had two more quarters, but I gave them away. So I actually had two dollars and 30, 42 cents off of this hunt. And look at that guy. That is an antique pull tab. I'm actually, actually kind of like him. Um, that's the first actual style of pull tab ever made. I, I, if I, my research is correct, but no silver, all clad. Um, oldest penny is I believe this one right here, which is a 1961. Let me zoom in on him. He has 61. Um, there's a 97. There's an 89. Who knows what that is? It's crusted up. Looks like a 96. 88. Who cares? Toasted. 96. 14. 2000. Um, 2013, 2005 for dimes. Um, this one here I think is a 2000 something or other. Uh, 89. This guy here is the I'm trying to get the light on it just right. That's a 2000 something or other. This one here is a 1965 or 60, yeah, 65, I believe. Let me see, get the light on it just right. Yeah, 65, just one year away from being silver. And then just some modern quarters. But I'm getting a little too long winded here. This one here is dirty but it's a upside down looks like an 89 79 that one's modern it's fun trying to do this through a camera that one's an 82 yep but yeah that's what we got so the good and a lot of bad. 
I expect at least one thumbs down for this. <laughs> I don't care. Y'all have a great day. Good luck out there. Happy hunting.